one of my you know, top priorities, especially what we when fighting for in the legislature is to have a, a restore and reparative justice plan um, to where, yes, we can funnel you know, millions of dollars in businesses to you know, have relief for COVID or even a civil uprise. I was like, but we need equal amount of investment in community that is dealing with extreme trauma, that have dealt with extreme terror, that have dealt with you know, now are not even able to really uh, take care of themselves. You know, a lot of our infrastructure has been destroyed, especially if you think about some of the gas stations and the large grocery stores that's been taken out. So there's definitely a, a strong need to rebuild and rebuilding that is not the status quo of what we've seen where developers are the leaders of that building that, that doesn't have connections with the community. Definitely mutual aid has been, you know, uh, a great tactic that we, you know, of course there's grants and stuff coming out, but I think the community just cannot wait for a process like that. So it has definitely been a blessing to where we've seen a lot of resources being dispersed in ways that we haven't seen before. And I just think that's a wonderful thing. People are just showing up for the help. You know, the help is definitely coming when you put the call of action out there, whether it's a GoFundMe or an online fundraiser, people are sharing wealth and um, sharing supports.